Good morning. Good morning. Hey, what's wrong? I'm sick. But you're sick. I got a bad disease. A bad disease? Mm -hmm. I'm not feeling good. You're not feeling good? No. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think? What's the matter? I got two pox. <laughs> I told you if you eat too much cereal, this is what's gonna happen. You didn't listen to me. I like cereal. I can see that. <laughs> you like cereal so much you got the pox. <laughs> Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. I'm all better now. Hey, you're cured. It's a miracle. Yeah, because the cereal, eating cereal takes it away. Oh, okay. So. Even though you didn't eat it yet, it's already gone. Yeah. That's weird. It's the promise of it. <laughs> you gotta have the chocolate base. You know it, friends. You know about it. Get some more craving there. So, friends, if you ever come down with a terrible case of cereal box, the only cure is more cereal. Yep. You don't. You know it. You gotta put some Reese's Puffs. A nice healthy layer. You gotta puff around. Hey, get, you gotta, you gotta get this cinnamon toast crunch One in there. One was stuck in there. Yeah. Hey, what? I want some of these. Mmm. What are those? Cheating. Maple. Maple Cheerios. Yeah, you gotta have your five maple Cheerios. <laughs> hey, cinnamon bun cereal and peanut butter crunch. Oh, I love that mix. Mmm. Put that in. Shrink it in? Shrink it. Oh, shrink it. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. And then I have a little bit of this one. Me, 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 me. Like that. Just blink that on real big. Blink it. Blink it. And go. Okay. Now you can pour your milk. That one was already open from yeah. the last time, so. Ew. So. We didn't have to do prayers, but we'll have another one probably. Milk time. You gotta milk around. Oh yeah. Milk around, milk around. That's the best part of the day right there. When you milk around. Well, second best. The first oh. best is eating. Ready? One, two, three, time. Uh-oh. Who taught you how to count? Mmm. <laughs> Good? Mm-hmm. Dollar shirt, dollar shirt. Dollar, dollar, dollar shirt. Dollar, dollar, dollar shirt. Dollar, dollar, dollar shirt. Dollar, dollar, dollar shirt. Look it. Power puff. I got this for one money. Whoa. That means one dollar. At the hot topic, because I had it was on sale clearance, and it was five ninety nine or something, and I had a five dollar coupon. I like it. So it became a dollar shirt. Dollar shirt, dollar, 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 dollar shirt. shirt. How's my hair? So cute and spike a loony. Lunchtime, friends. We Maybe. got a kind of a different lunch, but I'm really excited for this. Check it out. Hint? Not just these, we got more stuff, but I'm not sure if we tried the hint of jalapeno yet. I don't think we have. But anyways. Friends, what we're gonna do, we're gonna load this baking sheet up with hint of jalapeno tostitos. Then we've got some more spice on top of that habanero heat. Picante, picante day. I've never, <laughs> I've never seen the habanero cheese before, have some, you? Some piquant cheese. <laughs> piquant. Look at that. That is really exciting. It doesn't say new on it, but I've never seen it here. This says new, but we used to have these. I don't know if we tried them. And we have the lime now too, we're seeing in the grocery stores in Canada. So, let's see what those look like. In the bag, you can see like little flecks of jalapeno. Whoa. Yeah? smell o vision they did a big smell. Mmm, yeah, those smell really good. See the little flecks in there, friend? They actually really smell good. Mmm, good flavor. I was expecting 
a hint of jalapeno. That's a nice. And that's exactly what you get. Yeah. But there's, um, you get like a hint of jalapeno, but there's like a really good flavor on it. There is a nice seasoning on there. Too. And a little kick. They're Just real good. Little. Real good and salty. Look, friends, you can see all that hint. Yeah, look at that. And it is, and you know what? The hilt, the hilt. The heat is building on my tongue a little bit. It's just a very little one, little heat. Now look, friends, you got if you got your chips on, you got to touch right. them all. Look at this chip. This is like the hint of jalapeno extravaganza chip. Friends, I'd say that's more than a hint. <laughs> okay, friends, when you got your chips on, you got to play the piano. Make sure you wash your hands and play the piano to get them all evenly spread out. See that? <laughs> that action? Now, now what? Nicole has given me instructions. She said, don't do anything else but put the chips on and the cheese. Yeah. Because like, sometimes I've cooked the tomatoes and the green onion on the chips, but I prefer them fresh. <coughs> Is it spicy? Can, okay, let's let, let the friends smell. Uh, it just smell. smells like cheese. Friends, smell it up. Smell around. Oh yeah, just, just smells, smells like, like cheese. cheese. Can I have a, uh, a non-melted? You better do it fancy. If you're gonna, oh, you're gonna eat it. Yeah. It goes on here, man. Friends, you ready for this? Watch this. Hey, there is spice on it. Oh my. Friends, you gotta sprinkle on the cheese like a master. <laughs> oh yeah, friends, you gotta cheese it up. Cause we like things cheesy, especially our jokes. <laughs> yes, especially our jokes. Yeah, I tried this when I and it's really spicy. Yeah, you can actually see little pieces of the red and orange habanero pepper sprinkled mm. through. What do you think about that? I think that's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Y'all. Silly boy. Mmm. Friends, it's out of the oven. It's beautiful. Oh my god, that's a work of art. So now you have to do your scoopage and then you put your toppings. Friends, do this combo. The smells are making my mouth water. The, the habanero cheese and the hint of uh, jalapeno chips. Oh my God. It, it's beautiful. It just smells amazing. Okay, tell us about the friends now. We must get a nice helping and you put it on your plate. Whoa. Hey, hello, boys. Okay. Look at that. Yeah. Now what are you gonna top it with? Oh, let's show, wait a minute. Gotta get a few more, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, pile it on, baby. You need that stringy cheese action. Okay, now you gotta do the toppings. You got the tomatoes, the green onions, the black olives, the salsa, and the sour cream. Now you want nice, fresh tomatoes, not normal tomatoes. Fresh ones, baby. No, no, nice, nice fresh ones. Fresh <laughs> tomatoes. Nice, fresh tomatoes. That's what Nana said. They have to no. be nice and fresh. Not just nice and not and just fresh. Look at these, boys and girls. <laughs> yep. You're building the, pla the plate of wonder here. Beautiful. Then you do the bread. Now, friends, let us know. I, I was thanking Nicole for turning me on to the world of black olives because I would have never tried them before I met her and I'm so glad I did because I love them now on pizza, on nachos. Remember when you made fun of me because I always, I ate cans of olives? <sighs> well, yeah, this, friends, this one here, th this one here, this one, this Italian one here eats black olives straight out of the can. Aren't they so good? Italian friends, do you do the same? When I was little, my cousin Danielle and I would go in um, my Nona's cupboard and we would get a can of black olives and sit at the table and eat the whole thing. Now friends, that's going a little too far for me. I like them on things, not straight out of the can. Oh, they're so good. But, but friends, not the, they have to be the ones with the pits in them. Because I don't know, for some reason, the pitted ones don't taste the same when you eat them out of the can. So. Gotta tell me, are you a pitted or a non-pitted friend? Or are you a and, green olive friend? Oh yeah, are you a different olive friend? Or maybe you just don't like olives. That would be sad. 
You must be an olive friend. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so now you gotta put some salsa rooney on the side here for dippage. Oh, it goes on the side? Yeah, but you could put maybe a bowl, but, but me don't. Me don't? Me don't. <laughs> and then you put scoops. When you gotta do scoops, okay? What? Oh my God, what, what, what are you creating here, what? Picasso? Uh, scoopage, because I'm a sour cream girl. Nicole so. Nicole so. Here you go, there you huh. go. This is good. <laughs> what were you doing there? <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Okay, here you well, go. You did a wonderful job. Oh, thank you. There you go. You got the chipperoni. You got a dip of salsi. You got a dip of to sour cream. Write these instructions down, friends. <laughs> dip of salsi. Mmm. Mmm. You're good? Mmm. -hmm. I can't wait. Mmm. 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 Salty and Jackson. You're the master of nachos, too. Mm. Oh, this is so good. I already know it's going to be good. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is the greatest day of my life. Yeah, it was so great. Hank had to come down from sleeping. Yeah, and when he gets up from his nap, you know you got something good cooking in the kitchen. Oh, that's a beautiful platter. Of, that's probably good. That's a platter of success right now, there. Now, what do you do first? Is there an order to this, friends? Let us know the order of stacking of the toppings. Yeah, I didn't really have... I, well, I just went from, you know... I'm going to go maters. That's what I did first. Maters. Maties. Maters. Maties. Maties. Then onion, green onion. That's about right. That looks beautiful. Now it's not going to be as pretty as my wife's, but it is going to be tasty. Okay, let's see. We those. can't all be uh, food presentation queens of the jungle. Mmm, that is. I just want to eat that whole bowl. <laughs> Good thing you got a plate of it. <laughs> Good thing that's a plate, not a bowl. Yeah. That looks lovely. That looks good for me. Now. Oh, you're a salsa and sour cream on the side. Does anybody put it on the top? Yeah, I bet you there are friends. I'm probably going to put more on the top. You know what? I'm a topper. Ready? Watch this. Wow. That just looks lovely. Okay. Now what you going to do? Now you do the dollop. Or many dollops to spread it out spread the love right friends yeah friends not as pretty but it's going to be just as tasty oh it looks pretty to me okay that's it looks good. yummy now the best part is tasting if you can separate some of the cheese some of the chips from the ingredients that's pretty good i'll get an olive on there yeah you gotta have a little of everything little bit messy friends but I try. Messy is the best. How mm. did that do for ya? Mmm. So many good flavors going on there. I'm glad we decided to do this for lunch. It's really good. Man getting a nice salty kick with the olives. Oh yeah. Good heat, eh? The habanero just kicked in. It's like after you're done chewing and swallow, the, the back of your mouth gets that kick. It's good. In the hood. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. <laughs> I like the also. Mm. Okay, friends, it's dessert time. That nacho plate was delicious, by the way. We have a new flavor for us in Canada, chocolate therapy. I It's been here for a while, but we haven't tried it yet. It just went on sale for us. Though. Yeah, that's what we were waiting for. 
chocolate ice cream with chocolate cookies and swirls of chocolate pudding ice cream. That just sounds like heaven in a container. Let's unbox this baby. Usually they give you a spot to break it. No, they prefer, they prefer for you to make that face for a while. Yeah. Gotta cut it. Not okay. strong enough. I have to build up my strength in the gym. You gotta get those muscles. And Ben and Jerry's will help me do that. Okay, come on there. Show us the, show us the magic. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, yeah. Friends, can you see all that pudding uh, Look at swirled that. in there? Yep. Watch okay, this, friends. Okay, get a dig in there. Uh, it just came out of the freezer. I like my ice cream really, like, hard. <gasps> Whoa. So there's supposed to be chocolate cookies at some point. I see little specks, but usually Ben and Jerry's is good for that, putting in a good amount of mixings. Oh, it looks Bottoms up. It must be good if you're not saying anything. I can't talk. Well, Hank can drink though and make noise. Friends, that cookie there, if you think of a, a nice baked chocolate cookie mm. with chocolate chips, and then you put on a scoop of chocolate pudding on top. That's exactly the flavor you get in here. Oh, that sounds really it good. It is just perfect. If you're a chocolate Look fan. Look at all that. Like, it looks so smooth it's and like. It's really rich mm. and smooth. Is there such a thing as too much chocolate is the world's greatest question. And the answer is no, there isn't such thing as too much. I don't know. Let's ask the friends. Friends, is there such thing as too much chocolate? Maybe the friends don't like chocolate ice cream. Let's ask the friends what their favorite Ben and Jerry's is. Yeah. So friends, let us know what your favorite Ben and Jerry's flavor is, or if you've, maybe you've never tried Ben and Jerry's and you have a different, oh my gosh, that looks so good. So maybe the friends have a different um, brand of ice cream they like better. If you're a chocolate friend though, you definitely need to try this. This is all cookie, by the way, that, that, it's a soft chocolate cookie. You can oh see the swirl goodness. there. Wow, that looks so good. I can't wait to eat mine. Mm. Yep. Half and half because one wants cheese and the other doesn't. Right, dog? Right, dog. Huh? It's snack time and we're having fries and I wanted cheese on my hair. Mmm. And we went to a beautiful restaurant called The Metro. The Metro and specializes in schnitzel. Yeah, schnitzel and it was so good. And me and Nicole shared a platter. For two. Called the Metro Platter for Two. And you got cabbage rolls, mashed potatoes, um, two pieces of schnitzel. French fries. French fries, applesauce. Two soups. Two soups. It was bacon and, and bean. bean soup. Oh my and, goodness. And a nice big piece of garlic bread. Wow. Munch it up. tastes like, um, it's like Hungarian food. And my grandma, she was Hungarian. 
um, and my grandpa was Italian and then I, my dad's side is all Italian. So I love Hungarian, like Hungarian food and oh my goodness, it's like a Hungarian grandma made it. Oh, and the pro the pierogies oh, were so we, good. You got to sample some pierogies too. They deep fry them and there's cream cheese in the middle. They oh. were the best pierogies I've ever had in my life. Me too. And the next time I go, I'm getting pierogi, big more plate of pierogies. <laughs> big more. Big more. And mashed potatoes. Yeah. Those mashed potatoes were so good. The fries were good too. Cabbage rolls aren't my favorite, so I just had a couple of bites and then I let Kyle eat the rest, but... And I love cabbage rolls. They tasted like my grandma's and that's a pretty high feat to accomplish. Yeah, your grandma was an awesome cook. Yeah. They they were good. I'm just not a cabbage roll fan. Oh, that's the timer saying the fries are ready. Ding, fries are done. <laughs> and then we had some cheesecake and some McCain cake. Some Costco and cookies. And some Costco cookies, what you guys seen. I tried, there was um, like four kinds, and I there were two chocolate kinds, and I tried a little bit of each of the chocolate kinds. Brownie and fudge, I think. Chocolate fudge. They were really good. You tried some of the chocolate as well, I right? tried the strawberry and the, the chocolate ones, and they were all awesome. Yeah, they were really good. I didn't have any of the cake. The cheesecake was from a, in Canada. F Canadian friends will know. Yeah, M and M's. We got. Yeah, yeah. It's like a variety pack. It was really good. So now I'm about to have a little snack a roomie. I'm gonna just do a little bit of full. Could you salt the other ones too, please? Oh yep. Yeah. How Nicole about like felt this? like yeah, that's perfect. Nicole felt like more cheese. I think I might be doing a ketchup vinegar type of thing. Mm, okay, I'm gonna scoop around. What, let us know, friends. What do you guys top your fries with, or what do you like to dip your fries in, or anything? Oh, you know what else I wanted to know uh, what the friends about what the friends like is the friends. I would like to know what is your favorite type of fry because you know how there's like shoestring. These are steak cut. There's only one grocery store here that still carries steak cut and they're yes. our favorite. And steak cut is, is my favorite, but there are crinkle, there are shoestring. So let us know, friends, what your favorite type of fry is. And your toppings of fries. And your toppings. I'm going to put some sour cream here on the side for Whoa. dipping. You just couldn't get enough of this kind of style because we had this with the nachos sort of for lunch. Yep, and I'm gonna put some Black olives on the side if I want some. This is a loaded cheat day. You're doing loaded everything. Yeah, I'm a loaded girl today. Yeah. There you go. Because you're going to eat a few of these. You ready? You're going to eat oh. olives? Oh, my God. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's gross. Mm. Good. Okay. So, I'll just dip one for the friend. You're going to just eat the olives on the side with them? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. That's our snack for the night. So, I hope you enjoyed this cheat day. Because we did. We did. And I'm all here from the cereal pox. I'm all healed. <laughs> I forgot. That it felt like this morning was so long ago that you had cereal pox. Don't forget, friends, to like and subscribe. Because if you don't, then you're going to get the all of the doomsday. Oh, and you greasy. can wear them like glasses and you can eat them. That doesn't sound too bad, actually. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye. guys.